Paul Pogba has gone from winning the World Cup to now doping allegations. And so today, I'm going to be replaying Paul Pogba's career from the very beginning. We've put him back at Manchester United, made him an 18-year-old, and also given him his FIFA 12 overall of 60. We're now going to be playing his career for the next 10 seasons. And who knows, if we make different decisions, we might be able to fulfill Pogba's potential, maybe even win him a Ballon d'Or. Season 1, and we've put Pogba back at Manchester United. But I don't think he should stay here. Manchester United has not been a kind club for Pogba. It's never really worked. I think if we want to draft a different career trajectory for Pogba, get him to fulfill his potential, he needs to get away from Man United. It's been a toxic club for him. So we're going to put him on the transfer list in the first season itself. But don't forget, we're starting off as a 60 rated player. This is Pogba's career completely reset. And some of his stats look super sus. 47 finishing. Well, he's got that shot power though. And the physicality is there. But yeah, this is a young version of Pogba and we're going to mold him into hopefully becoming the best midfielder in the world. But yeah, firstly, we need to get him out of Man United. And let's see what kind of offers we get. Sadly, though, it seems like nobody was interested in a 60-rated Paul Pogba. I think I'm going to have to help him out. And so for the first season, we're sending Pogba back home to France to play for Paris. And no, not PSG. Instead, Paris FC in League 2. Remember, Paul Pogba is 60-rated. Playing for PSG right now? No, 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 no. That's off the table. But Paris FC could really be a club where he grows. Let's go guys, we've got Pogba out of the Manchester United system, and I don't think I'll be going back there with Pogba. Although even at Paris FC, there is competition for Pogba. I don't know if he's directly going to be a starter, because there are a lot of other midfielders. We'll put him on a box-to-box -box development plan, because that just sums up Pogba. He may not be one of the highest rated midfielders of the club, but he's got potential, and let's see in his first season what he can do. We've made it to the end of the first season, and oh wow, Pogba's gone up by six ratings, although he didn't quite get too much game time, just played four games. No goals, no assists is fine, he's a midfielder, but I think if we give him another season at Paris FC, he should be able to establish himself as a starter, because now being 66 overall, he's definitely better than a lot of the other midfielders at the club. We're getting through another season with Paris FC. Come on, Pogba, this season you've got to announce yourself. Otherwise, everybody's gonna say without Man United, Pogba's nothing. And let's go, guys. Paul Pogba's done it. Up to a 72 overall this season. He's grown 12 ratings in a couple of seasons at Paris FC. And this time around, he played 23 games, scoring 4 goals, as well as getting 5 assists. Fair to say that box-to-box -box role now for Pogba, it's working. By the way, we're also going to be tracking his goals and assists throughout these 10 seasons. We usually do these kind of videos with attackers, so I'm really curious to seeing his stats at the end of 10 seasons. As a midfielder, I think Pogba is going to score over 80 goals, as well as get over 80 assist. That's my prediction. Let me know yours in the comments. Oh, and while you're down there, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 900k subscribers, and with your help, we might get there soon. For season 3, I think Paul Pogba has earned a move out of League 2. Unfortunately for Paris FC, even with Pogba, they're just not looking like they're gonna get promoted. And with Paul Pogba now being 72 rated, I think he deserves to be at a better club. So, this time we're gonna put him on the transfer list, and I'm hoping we at least get offers for him. Because, yeah, the last time we literally had to force a move through to Paris FC. And of course, this time we have offers coming in for Pogba. One from Estac Troyer. They're willing to pay 6.6 .6 million and this means Pogba will remain in France. The real question is, is Estac Troyer in League 1? If it is, then maybe it's an option to consider. But nope. by the looks of things, Estac Troyer are not in League 1. This would literally be a sideways move. Now, we're not wasting Pogba's career. Rejecting this offer, let's look for better ones. Ooh, this is interesting, guys. Is Leeds United is the next club to come in. Considering of what Manchester United has kind of done with Pogba, just, just kind of ruin his career. Maybe sending him to Leeds United would definitely be interesting. Do you know what? I'm, I'm considering this. The decision has been made. Paul Pogba's next club is going to be Leeds United. We're kind of doing everything opposite to what his career looks like in real life. None of that Manchester United, Juventus stuff. We're going with the lower level clubs. Maybe that's something that could help Pogba. But being at Leeds United means he's got the chance to potentially play in the Premier League. Or maybe not, because, well, Leeds earned the championship, so Pogba is still going to continue being a second division player. I'm honestly such an idiot. I really should have checked. But hey, playing in this Leeds side and hopefully getting promotion, I think that could really help Paul Pogba's career and help his overall go up too. In fact, let's chuck in some development plans on our boy Pogba. I reckon box-to-box -box is still by far the best one, so we'll do exactly that. By the way, at Leeds, he's got 
got some really good teammates around him. Like, look at this. Giovanni Reyna. How on earth have Leeds pulled this off? An AD rated striker up top. Gnondo as well. I guess it's time to see how Paul Pogba copes with his return to England. And would you look at that? It does look like Paul Pogba belongs in England. Gone up to a 77 overall. I mean, look at his stats now. AD finishing for a midfielder. I think we need to start improving his passing stats and all too. But this season, he had his most appearances, by the way. 49. Also scored five goals and got three assists. Not bad at all. But has Pogba helped his team get promoted? Because that could be huge. And oh, so close. Brentford and Leicester secure automatic promotion. Pogba's going to have to go through playoffs. Playoff semi-final and Pogba's Leeds United have gotten the job done. And now it's the playoff final. It probably is the biggest game in Pogba's career. Well, in this alternate career so far. Can Pogba help his team get promoted? And yes, he does. Oh, well, he got subbed yeah. off in the 82nd. But doesn't matter. Leeds are going up and so is Pogba. So far, three seasons with Pogba. He's gone from a 60 overall all the way to 77. Started from the depths of Paris FC. To now playing for Leeds in the Premier League. Nine goals and eight assists so far as well. Things are going really well for Pogba, but let's not jinx it. We need to get him to his potential, which is really high. Season four, and I definitely want to keep Pogba at Leeds. Well, because he's going to be playing in the Premier League. Ooh, and against Manchester United. But guys, I maybe have an idea to get the best out of Pogba. What if we convert him to a cam? I really feel like he would be so much better. This way, he'll probably end up getting more goals, more assists, and plus Pogba shooting and finishing. I think it's a bit wasted when he's playing deeper. Let's try this out. And after a couple of weeks, we can now convert Pogba to a cam. Is he going to get a boost in his overall? And yes, a slight boost up to a 78. We'll put him on an advanced playmaker plan. Look at that, guys. We've got Pogba playing at cam. And let's see how he fares in the Premier League. Okay, this is not good. The season has come to an end and Leeds almost got relegated. But hey, at least they did. Individually, though, Pogba has come into his own 82 overall now in that cam spot. And wow, he's had his most prolific season in the Premier League. 10 goals and 12 assists. That means after four seasons, Pogba's got 19 goals and 20 assists. And by the way, in Pogba's real life career, he scored 73 goals. I think our goal should be to try and beat that, but it's going to be tough. We've got six seasons though. But guys, for season five, I think Pogba has outgrown this Leeds team. And now in a new camp position, I think we can really further his career. So let's add him onto the transfer list and see the kind of clubs interested in him. Oh, this this could be huge. Arsenal interested in Paul Pogba. Staying in the Premier League though. This will annoy Manchester United fans as well. But I'm looking at this Arsenal midfield. He's going to have to compete with an 89 rated Kai Havertz. An 89 rated Martin Odegaard. Where is he going to play? Let's be smart. We're rejecting this. I'm sure there'll be a club which will actually be able to give him game time. Oh and could that club be PSG? Pogba's played for Paris FC. This might be his chance to play for the big boy club in Paris. Paris. Okay, guys, this makes sense because they don't really have a cam. Yup, they don't have a single cam at PSG. This makes sense. The next thing you know, Pogba's on a flight to Paris and he's just made the move to sign for PSG. It's taken us five seasons, but we've got Paul Pogba at the kind of club he deserves to be at. Ooh, and it was expensive, but hey, PSG have the money. Also, Paul Pogba didn't get the call up for the World Cup 2026, but I think joining a club like PSG could really change his fortune for international football as well as just his career. One thing's for sure, the pressure is now on Pogba. He's playing alongside world-class players. Now it's time to put in incredible stats and win trophies as well. We're making it through the season and look, Pogba's already won a trophy. That's what happens when you join PSG. But let's see if he can achieve more. End of the season and that's what I'm talking about. We've got Pogba to an 85 overall. Oh and by the way, with only three overalls from Pogba's highest ever rating in FIFA which is 88. I'm hoping we can break that soon. Looking at his stats, it's been another decent season. I kind of was expecting more goals and assists, but 11 goals, 6 assists, 51 games, not bad. And Pogba is collecting trophies here at PSG. Liga in the bag, and would you believe it, he's about to play in his first Champions League final. In real life, Pogba reached the Champions League final with Juventus, but Barcelona beat them. But in this alternate reality, can Pogba win the Champions League? And yes, he can. He's done it. Let's go. By season in and Pogba's stats are looking good. I'm genuinely thinking we should keep him at PSG for more time because I know his overall will skyrocket like this. Getting through another season at PSG. Nah, man. PSG has been insane for Pogba. Look at his rating. He's up to a 91. And he's stat-padding trophies. The UEFA Super Cup 
in the bag. Liga as well. No way. Could he actually win back-to-back -back Champions Leagues? Let's see if Pogba can do it against Man City in the final. And ah, oh, that is frustrating. And Pogba got subbed off. You can't have it all. But hey, still a remarkable season on a personal level to score 17 goals, 7 assists as well. We'll take it. Not gonna lie, I'm definitely thinking maybe it's time to move Pogba away to another club. But just look at his career stats. Ever since he's joined PSG, it's been just going on the way up. I think one more season here to try and boost his overall makes sense. One more season for Pogba at PSG, but could this be his last in Paris? Well, if this is his last season, he's made the most of it. Pogba up to a 95 overall. This is crazy. In just seven seasons, by the way. And of course, he's secured another league title, another cup competition, and guess what? Three Champions League finals in a row, and it's against Juventus. This is it. Pogba against the club he played for in real life. No way is Pogba going to deny them their Champions League. This will be hilarious if Pogba can do it. And he scored as well. Would you believe it? Pogba in a Champions League final scoring the third goal to seal the deal. Nah, nah, nah. Pogba's just had an unbelievable season. I think we need to be on the lookout for potentially the Ballon d'Or. 23 goals and 14 assists. Are you kidding me? Hey, Pogba is going to break his real life record easily. We still have three more seasons. But guess what? Pogba's done everything he can for PSG become a legend. But now it's time for a new challenge. For season seven, we're sending Paul Pogba to Real Madrid. Guys, Pogba is 95 rated. The only way he can take his career further is by being at a club like Madrid. Real Madrid is a club that creates Ballon d'Or winners. And Pogba being 95 rated, he's going to be in that conversation. And being at Real Madrid, I think, helps him. And also, this is a record-breaking transfer in football. 350 million. This just shows that if Pogba fulfilled his potential, what could have been with him? Oh man, look at the team Pogba is playing in quality everywhere. Guys, I genuinely think we could get Pogba to a 99 overall. That's his ceiling. 25 years old, we've still got development plans to try and use. Let's put him on an attacking midfielder plan and see where he's at at the end of the season. It's time to see if Paul Pogba can deliver at Real Madrid. Oh, by the way, guys, Ballon d'Or nominations and what? Guys, Pogba won the Champions League last season with Madrid. How on earth is he not here? 95 rated Pogba, man. Not nominated for the Ballon d'Or. I, I, I don't believe this. Is it because he's a cam? Anyways, I'm sure if Pogba delivers for Madrid, he'll get that Ballon d'Or. Okay, life at Madrid is a lot harder. Pogba only went up by one rating. But hey, he's still 96 rated. And look at those stats. 17 goals and 6 assists. And by the way, these stats now put Pogba at 87 goals, which is way more than his career total in real life. Oh, but playing at Madrid is not the same as playing at PSG because we've got competition for the league as Madrid finished second. Well, at least Pogba is not going trophy less. He wins the Spanish Cup. No, but Man City knocked Madrid out in the Champions League. Pogba's used to winning the Champions League at PSG, but at Madrid, I think it's going to be a little bit more harder. First season at Madrid definitely could have been better. There's something more important. Yup, this is the first time Pogba is getting to play at a World Cup. It's 2030 though. And look, France have topped their World World Cup group. They knock out Canada in the round of 16. Oh, but Brazil knocked them out. And well, it's Brazil who end up winning the World Cup. Pogba didn't score this World Cup, but he still ended up getting a couple of assists. Well, Pogba won the World Cup in real life and we couldn't get it done with him in game. That's kind of disappointing. Hey, if we can win a couple more Champions Leagues with him at Real Madrid, that would definitely be better. We're getting through another season at Real Madrid. Look at Pogba. He's 98 rated. I never thought this would even be possible. His stats though are kind of sus, but hey, he's playing in a camp position. 13 goals and 9 assists. His career total is still looking pretty good for a midfielder. And also, this season he's adding trophies with Madrid, winning the league and the Super Cup, but Champions League? Ugh, it's been a bit sus. I kind of don't know why we're unable to win the Champions League. I'm kind of tempted to send Pogba to another club, but if I do that, he won't have a chance to win the Ballon d'Or, because whenever you transfer a player, they just somehow never end up winning the Ballon d'Or. So we're keeping him for the last season at Madrid, but first, time for the Ballon d'Or ceremony. We're arriving at the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Come on, man. Pogba is 98 rated. Surely he can win the Ballon d'Or. Nah, I can't believe it. They've given it to Ossiman. Bro, they just favor attackers so much. But hey, at least he's Pogba's teammate, so I guess he should be happy for him. I think the goal now is to see whether we can get Pogba to a 99 overall and whether he can win the Champions League with Real Madrid. We're making it through the final season, and yes, we've got Pogba to a 99 rating. Look at those stats. We've literally made him unstoppable. Along with that, in his final season at Madrid, he posts 
his best numbers. 39 goals and 21 assists. Well, Pogba's total goals now is well over 100. And oh my days, Madrid have also made the Champions League final. If Pogba can win the Champions League as a 99 rated player, the Ballon d'Or might actually be a possibility. And yes, it's done. Paul Pogba has won the Champions League now for Real Madrid as well. Pogba with that Champions League trophy. I know the 10 seasons are over, but I want to see if a season like this can get Pogba the Ballon d'Or. We're making it to the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Has Pogba done it? Has he won the Ballon d'Or? What? Vinicius Jr.? Well, guess midfielders just don't win Ballon d'Ors in FIFA. If you enjoyed this video, why not watch me manage the career of Rasmus Holland, Man United's new young prospect. Hopefully he can have a better time at Man United than Pogba. Click here to watch that.